58 to 47 is the final. Michigan finds a way in what was sort of an ugly basketball game, Josh. We just got to call it what it is. <laughs> yeah. But they won the game. That's what matters. Strong second half. We were, they were able to get them get some things going there with the three ball after struggling throughout the first half. I mean, hey, a win's a win. That's what they say, cliche or not. But man, it was ugly. Yeah, I know. I think Michigan was shooting like eight percent from the three point line <laughs> at one point, which is horrible. Um, but, but yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, you know, a win's a win. They probably, I mean, when you look at the scoreboard, you say, okay, like 11 point win, you know, that's probably what they should have done. But realistically, when you look at the scoreboard, that's like a first half score, um, not a, not a whole game score, but you know, they, they took care of business. Michigan was the far better team on paper. Um, and I guess it showed, <laughs> showed a little bit, but yeah. um, you know they got the job done. That's all that matters. Yeah, uh, Coach Beeline walked into the post game presser and said, "Hey, you know, ten, when I saw the score at halftime, I thought this game was going to be over. Yeah. I, I never thought I was going to walk into this game with a, with a win, but yeah. they had it somehow got a two point lead at the half, 21 to 19, and sort of etched their way. I uh, sort of found uh, some creeks and crevices to, yeah. to to score on this Northwestern defense. Still." You gotta like what they did defensively, and that's what Beeline really noted. Hey, this is if you're gonna talk about this game, you gotta talk about our defense. Yeah, it was probably one of, if not the best, defensive performances they've had this year. Um, you know, again, Northwestern isn't very good, but you know, it, I think it speaks a lot more to what Michigan is doing defensively than uh, Northwestern offensively. I just, I just think you know that was probably one of the the better game plan games, and and you know, Wagner was great. Um, Xavier Simpson also was a huge asset. Um, so uh, really, at the end of the day, you know that that was a defensive win for Michigan, and they'll take that every day of the week. Michigan moves to 18 and six on the season, seven and four Big Ten play. They play another home game this Saturday against Minnesota. It sort of is in the middle, and then they go to Northwestern yep. next week. So a few some key games here down the stretch run as Michigan still is trying to vie for uh, one of those top seeds in the Big Ten tourney. Yeah, you know, uh, Beeline mentioned it after the game. You know, February is kind of where you make your season, and uh, they've probably got, what, seven or eight games left to go. Uh, Minnesota didn't look like a very winnable game to begin the year, but, you know, injuries and, and personnel losses kind of transformed that into a winnable game. They can go on the road and beat Northwestern. Um, you know, so there's a lot of things that can happen from now until March, but... You know, they can really set themselves up nicely here if they have a successful February. As, as Beeline said, defense is what, a strong defense helps you win in February. Yep. And we'll see if they can keep those winning ways going this Saturday. Okay.